Good morning guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. This is Empress um, or Jackrabbit but people know me as Empress. Um, I thought this would be a great day to do my next numerology reading on Chris Brown, Carucci and I thought I'd throw in Rihanna just for grins and giggles because uh, I know a lot of people still wonder are they going to get back together. Um, if you like my, my uh, program, that's great. Please do a thumbs up, comment, um, uh, subscribe, that's for sure. Feel free also to put in your date of birth and where you'd like me to email your information. I'd be happy to give you a numerology reading as well. Um, I know that a lot of you enjoyed my Beyonce, Jay-Z, uh, Kim... Kardashian and Kanye video. So let's take it away and see how we do. Um, Chris Brown's birthday is May 5th, 1989. And as I look at his whole birthday, it tells me so much about him and some choices that he's made. Um, first of all, overall, he is a number one person. So that means that he likes to be in charge of himself or anything else that he has to deal with, um, which is good. He's a great leader. He likes to be in charge of things. He likes to make things happen. He's full of ideas. Um, however, what's interesting is that he has a number five birthday month, which is May, and a number five birthday day. So being that number one, he looks very selfish on the outside. He always appears that way. In reality though, um, he is number five. He likes a lot of freedom, um, fun, space, change. He does a lot of traveling around, moving around, going here and there, and he actually enjoys the change. Um, in terms of relationship, it would be very interesting um, why I don't know, anyone would be really attracted to him on a serious level or would have an expectation that he's going to marry them soon because um, even if he did do that, which I don't see that coming up for him right now, but even let's say that he did, um, it wouldn't last. He'd be ready to change on to somebody else. He likes a variety of females and sexual partners, and the world is just fun for him. Um... It looks like, though, for this year, his personal year is a number nine. And um, and that's a really, actually, a good year. That says that a cycle that he's been living in is coming to an end. So he really is going to be working on turning the page as far as um, a lot of his bad boy ways. He still is about himself. He still likes to... Um, have the, the fun, the freedom, the travel, the variety in his life. Um, but he's going to be a number nine. That means that uh, we're really going to be watching him this year. This year is kind of like um, his do or die year with us. Um, as far as, is his music going to be consistent? He had a great 2014. He really did, irregardless of to some issues that he was involved in. Um, but we're going to be looking at him now to see... Can he continue that? And he's going to. He knows that we're looking at him. He's really going to be interested in um, spiritual or religious matters. That's going to be really important to him in the process of wanting to end this chapter or make a change. Um, he has to watch the people in his camp, though. There's somebody there that he's going to find out that are not, is not who they pretend to be. And it's really going to betray him. So don't be surprised to find some real tea on the vlogs or um, com something coming out about him. And it's going to be really hurtful because it will be somebody that's close to him that's going to do that. But that will be all the more reason for him to cut ties with friends, families, associates, whoever is around him that he trusts in or believes in. And they're going to betray him. Um, but we're going to have... Uh, a lot to look at this year because he's going to uh, appear real different to us. It's going to be a more mature level to him. You can have maturity and fun and freedom and space too. Don't crowd this young man up because he will not stand for it. You'll be find yourself on the outside 
um, in a minute. However, <laughs> as he usually does, because it's his nature, he'll change his mind and want to deal back with you again. Okay, when I looked at Rihanna, I see that, first of all, um, Rihanna loves love. She is, uh, she is like the real Barbie. She loves the idea of love. Um, the problem is, is that she has a mouth on her, and that makes it an issue dealing with people. She has a kind of way that she can feel she can say whatever she wants to say, and she can be really harsh about it. When you notice her, you notice that she seems to be about her business, um, making videos or making music and things like that. And she is that person as well, very, um, very focused and driven and hardworking and self-managed. Um, she's not trying to be the boss. She's not trying to lead everybody around. Um, she does like to have her say, but but not like Chris. He's number one in his world, and she doesn't feel like that. Actually, um, her total uh, personal number, her life path number, is a number three. So she is another person who loves the limelight. She's going to do whatever she can, whether it's wear skimpy clothes or make... Um, you know, push the envelope on the videos and things like that. She loves that. She's not a follower, though, so she's not going to be one of those that, you know, everybody's twerking, I'm going to start twerking. That's not her at all. But she is straight and to the point. She loves to talk. She loves to communicate. She loves the attention. She loves to have a good time. She lives to have a good time, to a party, to drink, to smoke, whatever. And no one is going to be able to tell her anything different. Um, her personal year is also a number three, so she's really, this time, this uh, year, going to be having a really good time. Work is going to take a bit of a back burner. She's going to be doing, being out and about and being seen and making news, not for music, but for who she's with, um, where she's going, what she's doing, and just really having a great time. Um, with that number three year, she's going to be doing more talking, so we're going to be able to really hear what her opinions are on different matters. So that'll be interesting. But this is even more interesting to me. I looked at Karuchi Tran because I wanted to see what is it about um, Chris Brown and Karuchi that um, that causes them to clash or get back together, or whatever. And Karuchi Tran is also. Um, a number three person in a personal year this year of a number three also. So she is very much identical to, of all people, Rihanna. So in for him and in their relationship, it's as if he has another Rihanna. That was the love of his life and it, it will be. But Karuchi is in the position where she can cause him to forget about that and leave that behind. She also has a number four element. So she really is about business and getting business started and being on top of that business and being organized and managing any kind of businesses and having Chris Brown in your life helps to get the customers in your life. So she's a smart lady. I'm not saying cunning and conniving, but she is about business and she understands the PR and the promotion and the names to be associated with. Um, this year is going to be a fun year for her. Um, she's really going to have a lot to say about business matters, not so much uh, personal things, but she may. But she's going to do a lot of uh, putting that on the back burner and having a good time and having things to say about herself, her life, her business. Not so much about Chris, though. <laughs> you know, she's not going to say too much about him. But she's going to be out and she's going to be talking and you're going to see her a lot this year because she wants to be seen um, a little more radical in her dress and things like that and the clothes that she wears a little more revealing whatever is going to get the camera to turn her way this is her her dream come true for her um, as far as being in the spotlight but once again let me emphasize her and her and Rihanna are like twins they really are very much alike they both ha can have a nasty mouth on them don't look the images and the way people look um, 
uh, make you think anything other. She can have a nasty mouth, and when he doesn't want to be bothered with her, he sends her away. But being that he's always coming back, um, he always brings her back, and she's going to keep on coming back as much as he wants to. She does not care one bit what people have to say as far as him and who their relationship and what people have to say. She's going to keep coming back to it. The same as Rihanna did. Um, but at the same time, Rihanna, um, you know, is shady and she's slick in her mouth and she does not take a lot of mess. Well, believe it or not, Karuchi doesn't either. She is a much stronger, sharper person than what people want to give her credit for. People want to believe that she's just some little... Uh, little girl that Chris found and she's just following behind. No, no, no. This girl has an agenda and a plan and she's going to make that happen for her. Um, Rihanna is not so much on the name of anybody. She's got her own talent, her own beauty, her own style that's fascinating to us and she doesn't talk about it that much. She's just out there with a ta-da. <laughs> and so uh, Karuchi is that too. Don't think that she's not to die when she's out there in public or all of a sudden she's on BET. I watched her and, um, and Ray J on the music countdown and uh, notarized it was. And it made me wonder, why is she on TV? Chris Brown. Chris Brown. And she would never say no to an opportunity to be on TV. Even on BET when they set her up with something nasty to say about Blue Ivy. In the end, not that she's not caring, but um, she doesn't care enough to, to let it dim her spotlight. That's not going to happen. So that's why Chris is so into uh, Karuchi, because she's just like Rihanna. He doesn't need to go back to Rihanna. He's got another one um, automatically. But that's what he would do. He would naturally be drawn to that same type of person, because he's the same. Because he went to prison or whatever, that didn't change him into something new. He just had a time out, you know, like sitting in the corner. Um, that relationship, though, uh, it's Karuchi that's going to really hang on to it. And Chris is, too, though. He is a Taurus, so they like a lot of um, stability. And Karuchi is a Taurus, and she is a fixed sign. And they like to stick with the same things. Funny, too, because Rihanna is a fixed sign, even though that she's, in, uh, she's an Aquarius. They like to stay put. They don't really like to... Um, break up. Like Chris will break up, will will be with someone, but he'll still have many other people on the side, and that's his right, and that's what he can do, and he's going to live his life like that for a very, very long time. Um, but this year, you're going to see a much calmer Chris, much uh, more focused, much more spiritual or religious. One of those, whichever he prefers. Um, and really coming to an end of a uh, chapter of a lot of that foolishness or whatever that tends to come out of him. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. Good luck to Chris, Rihanna, and Karuchi. Um, hope you guys had a wonderful new year. If you like it, make sure that you comment. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. I'd love to have you um, get in touch with me and let me know. And I can do a reading for you as well. But God bless and we'll see you next time.